composition is from Beethoven to Stravinsky to Cage, whatever you want. And that's what I think makes the composition major so special. You're quite free. What Berkeley gives us is a great opportunity to find our own language of composition. It's so open-minded. People are willing to listen to anything that you can possibly create. Any sound could be potentially a piece of music or part of a piece of music, and any piece of music can be made by putting a collection of different kinds of sounds together. What we're really doing is helping young musicians find their own voice, giving them tools from every era, every possible style, and allowing them to explore way beyond even what the faculty might specialize in know. It's not so much of a whimsical choice to decide you want to be a composer. It's sort of something that you have to realize you can't do without. There has to be a, sort of an insatiable desire to do it. The second is an insatiable curiosity about everything musical. Plus, the community in Berkeley, it's like people from different parts of the world and from different perspectives to gather together for composition. A lot of Berkeley composition majors come here uh, not really knowing that they are composers. And then they take a couple of core, even tonal harmony classes or counterpoint classes, and a light bulb goes off. I took two classes, John Cage uh, and Morton Feldman class, and after 1945 concert music class, those two classes just changed me. I'm from rural Mississippi. I had never heard an atonal piece of my life until my second semester here. When I heard that, it just completely changed what I knew about music. I was just introduced to a few composers, specifically uh, Zanakis. That got me so excited that I kept wanting to pursue the study of writing for instruments. One of the coolest features of the composition department is this bulletin board, which is constantly filled with opportunities and tons of call for scores, which are basically ensembles that are coming to Berkeley. You can sit with them on stage and they'll say, what about this? You need to have more string to work with. So when you write her that high, so it, won't snap back. it won't really snap back right. like that. So this last fall semester, I wrote my first jazz piece I've ever written. I ended up putting together a 42 member jazz orchestra. In three weeks time, we were able to write the piece, record the piece and edit the piece. I don't think that that is something that I could have accomplished anywhere else. And the fact that there were 42 musicians and 16 mp &E engineers to do this for me that I had never met before, that was just truly inspiring to me. I will organize the Society of Composers. Everyone from Berkeley can come, bring the pieces, and we will rehearse it and finally perform and give you the recording. And now I just want to compose more and more, and I know that what I compose, it will be played. Write music for your friends. Write something for living, breathing players who are going to bring their own personality into the performance of that piece. It's never too early to start to compose. Everybody starts step by step, even Mozart did.